Hello everybody and a good day to you all. Today I am talking about DC Legend of Tomorrow season number 5, episode number 3. Miss me, kiss me, you love me. That's episode directed by um, David Geddes. In this episode here, we have a lot of things going down. Now we have we have John Constantine going down to hell to try to talk to Estra and try to pretty much stop her from doing what she's doing because she's letting out, she's letting out everybody who's in hell, she's letting them out uh, free again to wreak havoc. Because the more you have they wreck they up there, the more soul she gets, the more, the more power she gets. She wants to be in charge. She wants to rule everything. And because Constantine pretty much screws her over, so now she pretty much used the opportunity to become the worst, the worst thing ever. And Constant, and even though Constantine, even though he acts like he wants to kill her, you can tell he still wants to save her. And so, and, and so you got that situation going on. And then you got then you got another situation going on. You got Sarah, you got Ray, and you got Constantine going back into the past to stop um. Um, well, Bugsy Siegel, because he, 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 he one of the people who pretty much es escaped hell, well not escaped hell, but got released from hell, so they got to find a way to, to pretty much detain him, because they can't send him back to hell, because that's just going to send him right back up again, and so, so they got to find a way to, to keep him um, away from everybody and detain him so he can't escape again, and also stop him from doing whatever he's trying to do. Yeah. And then we have another side story going on, where um, um I guess you say, Brad, I guess I say his name, Brad, and Nate, um, Brad takes to Nate to see to, to visit his family, and because Nate wants to go there because he's trying he's trying to find um Zari, who he's been seeing visions of, and he he realizes he he, he has a connection a connection to her they were they actually were dating he had, he had, he has feeling for this woman so he's he trying to pretty much um. Bring find her and and bring her back because she's the right she's the person who's supposed to be there instead of her brother. He doesn't he doesn't exactly know the whole picture see the whole picture does yet he doesn't know that she's supposed she's supposed to be there, and so when um, Bar Bar um Barat takes um, Nate to see his family everything's going well until until Zari shows up and then Nate sees her, and he realizes oh my gosh she is real she's not just a fantasy I wasn't going crazy. And so he thinks that because of the way how he feels, once he once she sees him, she can feel the same way, and her memory's gonna come back. And then that bang, bang, boom, we got Zari back. Everything's good. The whole team is together again. Woo, 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 woo. But that didn't work out that way because she's a, she's now she's trying to become some kind of um, famous influencer, and she how she pretty much makes her money and stuff like that. And he thinks that when she when she when she sees him, it doesn't work out that way. She just she she she, she just thinks he's just some kind of crazy stalker. But at the same time, she knows that her that, um that her and Nate and him and Nate are do, are are doing something, but she don't know exactly what it is because Bar um, Bar Bar has been telling his family he's been, he, he's going to business school and Nate is his, is his professor, which is kind of weird. Like why would you take a professor to your meet your family? That's kind of odd. Like what are you dating? Like, why would you take your fan? I was kind of weird, but other, other than that, you see the the, the, the this is like always. This is crazy. It's wacky. It's some silliness in here too. I mean, you got to see um um Ava sing, which was great. I mean, she gets she has a beautiful voice, but at the same time, she she, she was singing, but she wasn't singing well because she was drunk. So in her drunk mind, she's like, she's killing it. You got the, the whole crowd jumping, everything fantastic. And then because of reality, she's all like, hey, 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 hey. And the thing is though, she's singing a song that that, that wasn't even, that, that hadn't even come out yet. So why was she singing something that that new? I, I, it was so weird. It's, it's a weird song choice. I why, but overall, it was still fun. I did enjoy it because the thing is though, Ava's learning her new place now that she, she's not part of the time bureau thing anymore. Working alongside the team. Trying to find her place, trying to fit in. She, she's not in charge anymore. She got to take orders from her girlfriend. It was just, it was just weird. Cause she, she, she was the one giving out orders. So now she, now she now she's like just another member of the team now. And Nate trying to help her out through that situation. At the same time, not quite helping her out at all. Yeah. And then also seeing Constantine dealing with the fact that he actually does wants to help Estra. Think because the things that he this whole this whole episode you see him like planning to try to kill her. And then with the opportunity finally came to, to to do this, he couldn't do it. Because he, because the things that when he sees her, he sees his mistakes that he made that they got her here in the first place. So he takes responsibility for what she, what she is now. So he he still wants to save her, yeah. So overall, just like I said, this episode was fun, a little bit silly, but I I, 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 I but this is how the show is because it doesn't take itself too seriously, which I really I really do enjoy. So so it could be a little wacky, a little crazy at times, but also be very dark too. Which also kind of like it found that balance quite well between the humor and the serious and the dark, 
I mean, like that. And, and now that Nate has fined Zari, and, and also Bernard, Bernard, Nate and Bernard took her took her to the to the, um, to the on the on the time stream. How they gonna affect the whole entire team now? I don't know. Is she, is she gonna get her memories back? Is she gonna go talking flashes too? We will see. We will see. Overall, great episode. We really enjoyed it a whole lot. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought about this episode of Legends of Tomorrow. If you haven't watched it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy it. Haven't watched it too. So give my channel a like, hit the thumbs up, share boop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to become 100,000 subscribers. Help me on my journey to get there. I would appreciate it so, so much. And all those who have subscribed, I just want to say thank you. So like I always say, in my dreams in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out, uh, people.